Hello, in this video, I am going to explain the concept of debt. So you might have heard about debt, I'm sure you have, that debt being bad. Some people may have even said debt is good. I'm not really going to get into the ethics of debt in this video. I'll give some examples of good and bad debt, but ultimately I just want to explain what debt is. So debt is money you borrow, you borrow. It could be off anyone. It could be off a friend. It could be off a fina financial institution like a bank. It could be off a group of people. It could be off anyone. Money you borrow and you have to pay back. You have to pay it back. The, the date you pay back or the amount of payments you make, maybe you borrow a thousand dollars and you make a hundred dollar payments every single month over a 10 month period. Maybe that repayment schedule starts after six months of borrowing. All of that depends on the debt itself and the person or institution you are borrowing off. Usually, usually debt carries interest, meaning the amount that you borrow, you have to pay that back which is pretty obvious, somebody wouldn't really just give you something for free, but you also have to pay back more. So for example, if we have Bob, he's doing very well, and then we have, oh, wanted to change the color. We have John, he's upset because he's not doing very well and he wants some money. Let's say Bob gives a thousand pound to John. John is now happy. And so this is Bob. This is John. And the agreement is after exactly one year, John has to pay back. So after one year John has to pay back the thousand pound plus 20 percent which would mean he would have to pay back one thousand pound plus 200 pounds which equals a total of 1200 pounds obviously the amount of percentage you are paying back again depends on the agreement you have with the lender who is giving you the money and you know the type of loan that it is some loans will have a higher interest and it also depends on who the lender is lending to if it is someone that is higher risk and they find it difficult to get loans they will as a result take advantage of that and charge higher interest whereas if it's more of a stable person or a stable company with good credit history i'll cover that in a separate video and they will usually get a lower interest. So debt is just money you borrow, you have to pay it back. Usually people will say, online will say you have to always pay interest. That depends on the actual, you know, institution or person you are borrowing off. It is possible that you don't have to pay interest. Most of the time you will. In a professional context, when you have debt, you will have to pay interest. But let's say your parents lend you five thousand pounds to buy a new car and they say in in a year's time once you've earned enough money pay us back a lot of the time they'll they'll just want the five thousand pound back there's no actual interest added to that so it is not always with interest so just bear that in mind usually they'll incur interest that's where the the problem usually lies for a lot of people so let me cover the concept of good and bad debt so i'll give you an example good bad so i'll give you a bad example first so bad would be if you buy a car and let's say uh, this car costs ten thousand pounds and every month you have to make payments of let's say 500 pounds per month but also the car's value is going down and so let's say after one year the car is only worth five thousand pounds let's say the value keeps halving every single time so basically you are constantly paying 500 pounds and let's say that factors in a bit of interest as well 
for a £10,000 car that is no longer worth £5,000. And let's say you'll be doing that over so £5,000 per month for a year is £6,000. And let's say you do it for two years, so there's 20% interest of £12,000. You pay £12,000, which at that point, after two years, it is only worth 2500 So you've paid 10,000, I mean, 10, £12,000 for something that is only worth 2500 now, and probably all the maintenance that's gone, that's gone with it. An example of good debt could be if you get a mortgage on a house, let's say it costs 100000 and every month you have to pay 1%. And let's say that has some small amount of interest there as well. So that's £1,000 per month, but you rent this property out, you rent this house out, and this brings in £1,600 per month income from rental. That means you have an extra £600 in your pocket. Obviously, this is not factoring in taxes or expenses. I'm going to go on the assumption that this is after all expenses and all taxes. So, therefore, this makes sense because you are paying a £1,000 a month for, for this mortgage, yet you're gaining back 1600 That means you're making £600. So, that is what debt is. It's money you borrow. You have to pay back. There are conditions around it. The amount of interest you'll have to pay back which most of the time you do have to pay interest you will have conditions for late payment as well that you will have a fee if you pay late some you know debt with loans because that's what it is it is a loan and other examples you know you got mortgage you got car loans your credit card every single time you swipe that or you know scan it now with you know contactless payments Every time you put on your credit card, you're technically taking out a mini loan. So you'll have late fees, but you also have fees for some loans if you pay early because they don't want you to pay early. The thing is, if you pay early, all that interest they could have got, let's say over 5, 10, 15, 20 plus years, especially on a mortgage, that the bank or the institution that has lent you the money will not get that interest. So mortgages, they generally won't let you pay more than X amount, I think it's usually about 10%, you know, extra per year. And if you do, you'll have a, a fee. You will get charged for paying them early too much. If you've got so much money and that, that fee is you know, pretty insignificant and you want to pay off your mortgage, that's fine. But just bear that in mind. Fees aren't just attached for late payment. They can be attached for too much early payment as well. So remember, debt is money you borrow, you have to pay back, it usually incurs interest. The in the amount of interest and the payment schedule will vary. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. We've also got a link in the description to the Discord group, which will you know cover everything from finance to crypto to programming to design to collaboration. So feel free to check that out. There's about 1,700 members on that now. And yeah, anything finance or, or anything related to that, feel free to pop us a message and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.